Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is the truth about Estee Lauder. So as you know, my channel is non-sponsored. I don't accept money from anybody, any company, and I have been offered money by everybody basically. Um, but it's important for you to have a source where it's information first and science first and nothing else, no other ulterior motives. Um, and this is, I'm not knocking anybody who does accept sponsorship, but it's just not what this channel's about. This is not how I make my income. This is my passion. And I just want to be your Google Translate for skincare because unfortunately there's so much marketing out there, so much money gets thrown into marketing. There's such weak legislation when it comes to cosmetics that actually can almost, you know, <laughs> say a lot on packaging, um, which just isn't true. Today we're going to be looking at percentage actives. Are they in the therapeutic index, i.e. do they work? Number two, packaging. Is the formula stable and will it be effective by the time it gets to you? Number three, the cost benefit. This is very important because there's no point in me making a, a product that costs a thousand pounds, no matter how effective it is, if um, you know there's something cheaper out there. So cost benefit is important. I'll be telling you whether it's worth it or not. Plus, if there's a cheaper dupe that does pretty much the same thing, similar ingredients list, then I will also name it in this video. Just let you know, I've got one hand because I'm drinking my coffee. I'm about my fourth video today and I need to get through eight more. So I'm caffeinating myself up. So if you don't already know, I have written a book called Skin Revolution. Please do get your hands on a copy. It's a book that I wrote and HarperCollins published the beautiful book, The Skin of Color. Again, all products in here that I've um, discussed and recommended are non-sponsored and actually skin of color requires slightly different skincare to Caucasian skin and so that's why I made this channel for you. I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video so when you subscribe hit that notification bell so you know to come here and ask me questions. You can also ask me questions on Instagram. I've got two accounts skincare for Dr. B and Dr. Mita Rattan. Also on TikTok Dr. Mita Rattan and also our private Facebook group called Dr. B's Sock Family. That's uh, more of an intimate area if you want to you know, talk about your own stories. And um, it's a wonderful group. We've got about 13,000 of us in there now helping each other. So, right, without further ado, <laughs> let's dive right in. Okay, starting with the first one, which is the Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex. Who comes out with these names? <laughs> They're like the longest name. Would you even remember that? <laughs> but the bottle is iconic. Um, and so I think you would remember that. Um, so let's go through the ingredients. Starting off with the first ingredient, water, which is your universal solvent. Uh, normal for that to be the first ingredient. Second ingredient here is bifida ferment. It's basically a probiotic, which helps to maintain a healthy skin barrier. We don't talk enough really about probiotics, um, but they do prevent or help you with damage from UV. It hydrates the skin, um, it helps you from other you know, pollution and um, other environmental assault on the skin. So it's a great ingredient uh, and I recommend that um, ingredient. The next is, then the rest are full of moisturizers. Um, I would say that the tripeptide is at a fraction of a percent. They've got anti-inflammatories in here, chamomile and bisabolol. I love that this product is fragrance free. Um, so essentially this is a probiotic cream that strengthens the skin barrier against damage and UV rays. It's a decent cream, I do like it, but if I was to do the cost benefit analysis, I'm not sure if I would buy it for my own skin, just because I know what the benefits of this particular product are. And if peptides were higher up in the ingredients list, I'd probably be more inclined, or if they'd even used any um, vitamin A, vitamin C, so other vitamins that are going to boost my collagen, then I'd be more likely to buy it. But really, this is just a probiotic anti-inflammatory cream. There's a cheap alternative called Bifid Cream Cupid Drop, which is $35 for 50 mils, which pretty much does the same thing at a fraction of the price. So I'd probably opt for that one. 
Moving on to the second product is Revitalizing Supreme Plus Youth Power Cream Moisturizer. So this is 53 pounds for 30 mils. It's got water, dimethicone, which is your silicone, glycerin, which is hydrating, and I love that ingredient. I use it in all my formulations, and then moisturizers. Then it's got acetyl hexyl, hexapeptide, um, sodium hyaluronate and then plant extracts. This is quite typical actually of Estee Lauder. They do use a lot of plant extracts. Decent product, but it's lacking ceramides or any vitamins. So vitamin A, C, E, any other antioxidants. So it's just, it's actually a very basic moisturizer that's hydrating with low percentage peptides. So, I mean, it's okay, but the cost benefit analysis doesn't really add up. Plus it contains fragrance, which is a nightmare because fragrance can lead to contact dermatitis in three to four percent of the population and in skin of color when you get a rash or contact dermatitis it can lead to hyperpigmentation plus it's a co-sensitizer thing about fragrance is you might not have any allergies or any reaction to it for 20 years and then suddenly you're reacting to that product that you've been using 20 years ago and you think how can it be this product is because you also get delayed uh, onset reactions too and so for that reason, I'm not a fan of fragrance for skin of color. And so this product would be one to avoid. Moving on to the next product, which is the Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate. So this is 15 mils for 59 pounds. So it is very expensive. And what I would say is it's odd because it has an extremely similar formula to their large uh, repair multi recovery complex cream. Uh, so it's water, dimethicone, bifida ferment, same moisturizer, same extracts, tripeptide, and it's fragrance free. So there really isn't much difference between the two. And the big one is basically 64 pounds for 30 ml. So if you divide it in two, 15 ml is 32 pounds. Whereas this eye cream is 59 pounds. So basically 60 pounds for 15 ml. So basically double the price. So, I mean, if you really, you know, want to use it, just get the big one. Uh, don't bother with this eye cream because it's not just Estee Lauder that have done this. This is a, a con that happens throughout the entire industry, including CeraVe, where the eye cream is extremely similar to the main moisturizer. And that's not okay, I'll tell you why. The skin around the eye is slightly different to the skin on the face. So the we don't have any sebaceous glands here. You don't get acne around the eye area. So you can afford to go thicker on the, on the fats in your eye cream. Plus the problems around your eye area are slightly different to the rest of your face. You tend to get fine lines there first. You might have dark circles, so you want tyrosinase inhibitors. And it can be more sensitive because you can get eczema around the thinner skin around the eye where you might not have it anywhere else. So actually, you know, it really should be a completely different formula to the face. And I get a little bit um, annoyed when I see that that hasn't happened. Uh, because it's not fair on the general public. The general public's looking at the marketing going, hey, Esther Lorda said this is a great eye cream. And then the influencers are being paid to say, hey, good eye cream. And then what are you supposed to do? You know, you just think I trust them and I trust them and they spend a lot of money on the marketing. It must work. And that's why I made this channel for you. <laughs> that's why there are no CEOs of any brand that actually likes me. <laughs> But anyway, let's move on to the next product. The next one surprised me, but in a good way. So this is the Double Wear Makeup, 30 mils for £31.88. Uh, so this is water, silicone, it's moisturizer, it's non-comedogenic, it's fragrance-free. I love it. So how many of you have asked me, Dr. B, what's a good makeup for acne-prone skin? A Double Wear Estee Lauder is wonderful. I also like the Ordinary Foundation as well. It's great for acne prone skin too. So those would be my two foundations I'd recommend for you. But uh, well done Estee Lauder on this one. I'm impressed. And I feel like it's a different cosmetic formulator to your creams. Moving on to the Idealist Pore Minimizing Skin Refinisher. So it's fragrance free. Uh, it's got silicones in it and it's got plant extracts. There's no irritants in it, which I love, but there's no collagen builders. And the thing is, when you have enlarged pores, you need to be using tetrahexyl decalascorbate peptides to get into the dermis in order to stimulate collagen. That's one of the ways to minimize pores, which they haven't done with this product. This is basically a filler. It's like, it's almost like a primer. Before you put your foundation on, it will fill your pores and give you a smooth finish when you put your foundation on. I do like the formula, but this isn't going to minimize your pores. This is purely almost to fill in the pores so that you have a photo finish with your foundation, which I'm happy for you to do, but as long as you are aware um, of the benefits of this and the marketing claims don't 
add up to what's actually in the product. Moving on to the next product is the Daywear Antioxidant 24 Hour Moisturizer with SPF 15. So it's a light moisturizer, it's not 24 hour hydration. For 24 hour hydration, you want a much fattier moisturizer, higher fat content, which this product does not have. SPF 15 is too low. Please do not rely on this to be your moisture your sunscreen you need spf 50 because honestly even when you're wearing spf 50 no one is applying enough to actually hit spf 50. so with spf 15 it's almost like you're not wearing any sunscreen at all so please don't rely on this the packaging is also wrong if you have antioxidants in this product you need to be in an airless pump plus it contains a fragrance so there's nothing about this product that i love or like please avoid thank you so much for listening i'm in the comment section i can't wait to hear your questions take care bye